All right, friends, it's T Man. We back with a new video, bro. It's Greg Doucette, man. He's doing a video on 17 year old 500 pound bench press. This is what I've been telling you, man. It's all, it's all fake strength, it's all fake lifts and fake strength, bro. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great, man. Let's review this video by Greg Doucette. The, uh, the steroids, these steroid slaves, I call them steroid slaves for a reason because they're a slave to the steroid. They have to be a slave to the steroid because without it, their bench is going to completely go away. So uh, Greg Doucette says 500 pound bench press at 17. All right, let's review this video. I don't even know if Sam Sulik can lift this much weight. And so are we supposed to sit and applaud? Yay! Sam Sulik, he's on steroids too, faking his lifts. Let's applaud an underage teenager abusing performance-enhancing drugs. I don't know if he's abusing it, but he's taking steroids for sure to lift that heavy weight. Coach Greg, and in today's video, the numbers people are lifting and the ego lifting keeps getting larger and larger each and every year. And so the guy... Yeah, because it's fun to fake the lifts, get it? They, they get off on it. It's a high, bro. You don't understand. It's a drug like any other drug. Steroids are just like uh, people lining up to get their stupid joints at the joint store. At the, uh, what is it, the fucking... I don't know, the pot store, okay? Or lining up to get their favorite alcohol beverage or the beer store or whatever. He's only 17 years of age and he's gonna be putting up 500 pounds on the bench press. I mean, yeah. that is truly remarkable. And he's, he's getting high, do he? he's getting a high off of this. Man, have you seen these people, what was this a while ago? These people were like passing out in these parks. They would choke each other. They would choke each other out till they passed out. <laughs> it's crazy. They get high off these things. Swing in or like sniffing glue or whatever the hell they're doing out there. They're only 235 pounds. Imagine that's over 2.1 times his body weight. Imagine putting up those kind of numbers at only 17 years of age. But here's the thing. The lift, it doesn't count. And so is it really a 500 pound bench press? If you did the lift entirely wrong, you never pause. I don't know. He faked the lift because he took drugs. <laughs> you understand me? Was it properly, had your ass off the gym, and it wouldn't count in competition? What is the point? Well, I'll tell you the point. It's ego lifting. And so perhaps it's not quite as dangerous as a guy thinking he can lift a 300-pound woman on his shoulders and walk out onto a diving board. Oh, that's not a big deal. Yeah, that's good. He just broke her back. <laughs> clearly, that is more dangerous. But this, also very dangerous. And so he clearly, the guy does have a brain. He does understand just how dangerous it is. And he has three spotters. One giving him a lift off, and on either side, a person to help get up the weight. You never know when you're pushing this much weight. Perhaps you tear a peck, you can't lift the weight up, it slips. You don't want to get injured. And so after the lift off, he lowers the weight, gets a little bounce off the chest, and gets stuck about two-thirds of the way up. He then struggles to squeeze out the weight, and he eventually gets it. This lift is extremely dangerous, and I'm going to address the elephant in the room right now. There's no way that this guy is natural. And so all we have is a juiced-up 17-year-old kid, younger than Sam Sulik, Ben pressing 500 pounds. I don't even know if Sam Sully can lift this much weight. And so are we supposed to sit and applaud? Yay! Let's applaud it! That's how powerful these hormones are. They, you fake your lift. You inject these plant plant DNA, plant hormones in you, and then you, it, it'll, 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 you could lift a heavy weight. Get it, man? But it's fake. An underage teenager abusing performance-enhancing drugs. Are we supposed to say this is amazing? And you might be asking, well, how do you know he's abusing it? If you was... I don't know if he's abusing anything, but he's definitely taking some. Eddie, it's abuse. 17 years of age. What's next? Next year, 16? Hold on, hold on. Why is it abuse? Look, people are buying buying cannabis at the cannabis store, alcohol, whatever. They're drinking it. Is that abuse too, Craig? They're they're taking they're they're drinking alcohol and these drugs and smoking them, injecting them and whatever the fuck they're doing. Is that abuse too as well? What's what do you consider abuse? Abuse is when you are about to die, when you take when you do the over the recommended amount. So what are you talking about, Greg? 
I literally just did a video on a guy. He bench pressed 570 pounds with Larry Wheels. The guy was 19. He yeah, I've seen that one. Okay. And so what? He took drugs to lift that heavy weight. He said right. his PR at 18 was 520. Well, here we got a guy 500 pounds at 17. Where does it stop? Is it going to be 500 pounds next time at 16? And then 500 pounds at 15? Oh, I know. Four Guys, where does it stop? Where does it stop? See, this is the reason why people don't follow natural people. Because this type of drug can make you exceed that limit. What a natural person could lift or do. You understand me? What you could create with it. This drug helps you create phony lifts and a phony body. <laughs> That's what's so good about it. You understand me? That's why people are driven to this fake shit. 400 pounds at 12. People, we need to stop using drugs so young, 17 years of age. And you think you just started? To get to a 500 pound bench press at 17 when you're only 235 pounds, you're not starting last week. Now that that's out of the way, mm -hmm. what do you think of all this? Is this something we should be aspiring to? Did he really need to hit 500 pounds on this day? Could he have not waited another month? Perhaps in another month, he gets a little bit stronger. He can then keep his butt on the bench, perhaps pause the weight. Maybe it's going to take him three months, perhaps even six months. Heaven forbid, it might take him five more years, but do it 100% natural. Why do we think we need to do everything by yesterday? 100% natural. I doubt he'd even be able to do it 100% natural. 500 is an extremely heavy weight. <laughs> Can we just let things happen? Train harder than last time, progressive overload, use natural supplements. And remember, at 17, you don't even need to use my natural supplements. You're too young. Geo2 Max, Turk Builder, Ecd Builder. You're too young. You do it natural. Say anyway, you can only do it for one rep, 500. So, okay, whatever. This for when you're older. And so it's one thing for a teenager to be using natural supplements, creatine and so on, of which you don't even need. But it's another thing to be abusing performance enhancing drugs. Not to mention, you notice those wraps around his elbows? That helps him about 20 pounds. And so why are we using artificial means to help him get up the weight? You're 17, are your joints already- Because he's already using artificial injections to get it up, Greg. Why wouldn't he use artificial means? Da, 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 oh man. Why are we using artificial means? to lift a heavy weight to show off so bad that you needed wraps to get the weight up i mean what's next is the spotter then going he needed wraps he needed an injection he needed wraps what's next i don't know to lift the weight up hey you got it and so yeah i get it. he's pumped he's excited he wanted to bench press 500 pounds yeah i've been there done that i wasn't doing it at 17 and i in fact have bench pressed more than 500 pounds but it took me till i was in my 30s in my 30s when i was 17 i wasn't even benching 300 i could bench 293 pounds that was my i gotta say the same thing as greg but i don't take drugs though but it took me well i never really practiced that trying to bench the heaviest through, through, I don't know, throughout my 20s, I could do like three, three, 350. I think later on, like when I got much bigger and stronger, around 29, when I started like doing muscle damage, these adaptations, yeah, I, my bench definitely went up to over 500. Boy, I was weighing 285 at the time, right? And I had good, uh, really good adaptations in muscle growth. Uh, I weigh currently 250. I'm not saying some of it wasn't sarcoplasmic because I did eat carbs. So I don't know, maybe maybe 265, the rest is maybe sarcoplasmic at 280, 85. I can't really say for sure. Uh, it's hard to say, so yeah. Uh, but I definitely lost some muscle, some muscle over the years because I didn't lift. I didn't lift for decades. I didn't lift for a long time, but I could come off the street and still squat heavy and still bench heavy. The one thing that still stuck with me was definitely heavy squats. My bench definitely suffered over time because I suffered some nerve damage. But yeah, but I don't know, man. It all, it's all relative. I don't know, man, these people, like these phony lifts and shit. If they're getting high off this stuff, lifting heavy weight, injecting mole plant molecules, getting high off of it, that's all it really is. They're getting high off this shit. It's like, it's a drug. One rep max at 17, weighed 140 some odd pounds. Could I bench press 500 at 17? No, I couldn't have. Even with steroids, I couldn't have. So clearly has better genetics than me. Better genetics than you? You have poor genetics. What are you talking about? What's he talking about? 
that wasn't even benching 300. I could bench 293 pounds. Sorry about that. I got cut off there. <laughs> That was my one rep max at 17. Weighed 140 some odd pounds. Could I bench press 517? No, I couldn't have. Even with steroids, I couldn't have. So clearly he has better genetics than me. But why are we pushing to get these numbers so fast? Now that he's bench pressed 500 pounds, you realize he's gonna wanna get 600. You think he's gonna be satisfied? Life goals achieved. New fear unlocked. I'll never hit 600. So what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna abuse even more steroids. I saw Larry Wheel's video. He did 570 pounds. He's 19. Probably gonna hit 600 pounds before he turns 20. And so what this guy gonna think? I need 600 pounds at age 18. I don't care how good you are, you're going to want to be better. You really think Chris Bumstead doesn't want to improve on his Mr. Olympia finish? Of course, they want to, they're going to want to fake it, man. Of course they do. It's easier to fake it than to make it with real work. That's why. That's why people are going to opt to fake it. Each and every year, you think he wants to come? You're living in an artificial fake world, anyways. People are just acting anyway, so might as well just fake it, right? Here's the thing: I don't, I don't think people think about the long road ahead of them. There is a road ahead of you. I mean, maybe you think your your life is just like the next 20 years, but after 40, there's a long road ahead. There's 40s, 50s, 60s, possibly 70s, 80s, even 90s. If you get there, you could get there. You can get there. You can even get even further. The, the question is this. Do you want to look like these 90-year-olds now, <laughs> these old people, these people that look so old and decrepit at their age? Back in the day when I seen people in their 50s, they just looked so old, man. They were just already walking with canes and everything with canes, even in their 40s, which is, which is crazy. I don't know. I used to watch people that I'm like, how old are you? And they're like 40s and they look so old, decrepit, bro. People are looking much, much better today than they did in the past. They're looking better, but I don't know what that reason is. It's all dependent on what they're doing. I don't know compete next year looking worse than this year and so you think this 17 year old's going to go to the gym next week next month next year and think oh i'd be happy with 400 i've already hit 500 now i just want to settle down retire and bench press 400 pounds i'm telling you i can guarantee it you're going to be disappointed if you don't continue to improve and so the stronger and quicker you get that strength the more you're going to need it it becomes very difficult to motivate yourself to go to the gym when you're getting weaker and so let's assume he's on a three or four month cycle I yeah, if you get weaker it's harder to motivate motivate yourself to go back to the gym because the problem is you want to show off to people if you're so busy worried about what other people are worried about you lifting how you're lifting then you can't accomplish your goals I don't know what he is but pretend you're in his shoes you're on a three or four month cycle and at the end of this cycle you peak and you hit 400 pounds then what are you supposed to do now you're supposed to come off and or go on HRT. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to talk over this with your doctor, right? Remember, never, ever break the law and never use steroids or any performance enhancing drug without the advice and consent from your doctor. And I'm yes, of course not. Uh, of course not, Greg. Not your freaking doctor. And so now that you're off cycle, you've removed whatever you're taking. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. Do you really think you're going to continue to improve right now? What do you think is going to happen? That 500 pound bench is going to be 490 next week, 480 the week after. And it's going to plummet. You'll be lucky to hit 400 pounds several months from now. And then what do you think is going to happen? You're going to say, I can't wait to go back on. I can't handle it. I don't like only bench pressing 400. And that's if you go off. Half the people aren't going off. They're just going to lower their dose a bit. I can't handle it. I was benching 500. Now I'm only at 450. This sucks. I went up my doses. Where's the trend? Where's the trend, boys? I needs it. And so you look at your watch. It's trend o'clock. Time to go harder than last time. And you're going to go on it. And eventually you bench 550. Then what do you think happens then? You go off and your bench goes down to, oh my goodness, it's only 500 now. I need... The problem with a lot of these young people that do that, they eventually drop off for some reason. They just disappear. Some influencers are still there. They hang out. They're around. But these people that go astronomically crazy with the drugs, they just, they disappear. They're there, and then they disappear. I don't know. They disappear. Will Sam Sulik still be there? He just started. Will he still be there soon? I don't know. It all depends on these people. He's bodybuilding, but it's mostly the people that are doing these crazy lifts that disappear. Why do they disappear? Maybe because they destroyed themselves. I don't know. They got an injury and they couldn't come back. They could never return. Who knows? I'm not really sure.
hit it again. And so this cycle repeats itself cycle after cycle, year after year, until eventually you get your blood work done and it's, oh my God, what have I done to myself? My cholesterol, my liver, my kidneys, my heart. You can kid yourself, fool yourself and say, oh, it won't happen to me. But of course, eventually you're gonna pay the price. And so my advice, stay natural. Does anyone think that this kid who bench presses 500 pounds wouldn't have still had an amazing bench press while being 100% natural? Perhaps he would only weigh 200 pounds. Perhaps he would only bench 400, maybe only 350, maybe even only 300. 317 is amazing. It's more than I did. Unless you're an adult and your gains have at least stopped, you perhaps hit your natural genetic limit. Why are we taking... I guess... Uh... Yeah, man, molecules are very powerful. These uh, plant genetics are very powerful, these powerful drugs. Plants are very powerful drugs. All drugs are made from plants. All plants are drugs. <laughs> Performance enhancing drugs. Well, I know why. To impress people, to be better than everyone else, to take a short... Yeah, he's, he's a genetic failure, so he wants to show off and... and <laughs> he wants to show off and pretend that he's got better genetics than you, that he's better than you are. You understand me? That's why he's doing that. And look at these guys on each side of the uh, each side of the weight. They're like, yeah, yeah. But remember, they're not gonna. They're not the ones that are gonna get injured. It's the guy in the middle. When that weight falls on him and collapses, and he gets a collapse long or hard or whatever, he dies doing this tears off his arms or some shit. He's the one that's gonna pay the price. The other guys, they're just laughing. Because they don't see themselves as deficient, as genetic failures. This guy who's doing that on the drugs sees himself as a genetic failure. So he needs to show to everybody. Shortcut? But I'm telling you, there are no actual shortcuts. The damage you're doing to your body, it's irreversible. What are these kids eating now? It is. <laughs> the only thing that you're going to get after the steroids, you stop taking the steroids, are the side effects. And they're going to destroy your organs and everything else in your body. They're going to accelerate aging and a whole bunch of stuff. Cellular damage, DNA damage, a bunch of stuff, man. Injecting this shit. Nowadays that they're benching 500 pounds. Well, it's certainly not what they're eating. It's what they're swallowing and or injecting. The usual trend bologna sandwiches. And I was happy about hitting 380 pounds today. There goes that. And so you see, this is the problem. People are comparing selves to other people. We now see a 17-year-old bench pressing 500 pounds. And so when we only bench press 380 pounds, oh my goodness, I suck. And so imagine if you're a 17-year-old out there and you bench press 380 pounds and this guy benches 500. You're suddenly thinking, wow, I'm not really that good. When 20 years ago, you would have never heard of a 500-pound bench. And if you were benching 380, especially at 17, you would have been a freak, an amazing anomaly that no one would have ever heard of. 380 pounds, you're 17. No one's doing this. You're a beast, LOL. I'm at 200. Yeah, it's only drug addicts. See, this is this is where this is where the people come in. The uh, genetic failures. They start writing on the on the comment section. You're a beast, lol. I'm I'm at 275. Yeah, you're in 275. What without drugs? <laughs> 75 pounds. And so imagine everyone's comparing themselves to everyone else. 275 pounds, man. 380, 500. You're only at 270. Yeah, but he beat you because he cheated. Uh, he used the he, he used the crane, a forklift. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. He used plant molecule injections, bro. <laughs> 25. I'm telling you, when I can bench press 293 pounds at 17, I thought I was the strongest kid in the world, and perhaps I was from my body weight. I did, in fact, lift more than the world record in the bench press for my age at that time, but it pales in comparison to what these guys are lifting now. Perhaps there wasn't the available of performance-enhancing drugs back then it is today. Today, you can Google it, type it, everyone knows about it. Back in my day, there wasn't even Google. Think about it. If you've done 380 properly with a pause, it's way more important impressive than this that's a horrible take he could pause 380 for reps easily and so here's the point why didn't he why did he put 380 pounds paused the weight lift it up with great lifting technique because he doesn't want to he wants to show off that he's got pretend genetics that's why he's wanting to pretend that he's got better genetics than you because <laughs> he benched 500 after injecting plant toxins in himself and do so while being 100% natural. Imagine this. Kid posts the same video, 380 paused, 100% natty. Which is more impressive? 380 natural with proper lifting. What natty, man? I don't know. 
these fucking natty people, not natty out there. You got any proof, Greg? Man, look at you. Form that actually counts way more impressive. 500 with sloppy form while using... Like, seriously, you have to laugh at this shit, man. Listen, I just laugh at these people doing these circus acts, injecting themselves with drugs to lift a heavy weight. Why on earth do you need to inject a drug to lift a heavy weight? The only reason is, is because you're a genetic failure. These people are genetic failures. But the people that are watching them, they all, they all, they're all so brain dead. They're like, look at this guy. Oh, 500. Oh, I only do 275. <laughs> they're all like fucking drooling and, and fucking drooling and crying over some kid who took a bunch of drugs to lift this weight for one rep. Give me a break man performance enhancing drugs of which we have no idea he's the weakest kid on the planet one rep with drugs he injected he's weak i gotta explain this his body is small it's weak it's bloated with who knows what because he took some steroids so he blew up with 30 pounds of like water bloat and then it gives him this power to lift that weight for his production bro he's weak as a puppy believe me how much it helps him we also have no idea how many years it takes off his life to me that well, is not all. he's a young person so young people are typically strong i'm not saying he's completely <laughs> weak bro but i guess in his in his opinion he thinks that he's a genetic failure so he needs these drugs look at him when he gets up look how he like he goes nuts okay and so yeah i get it everyone has the right to do whatever they want to do well for me i don't agree with that when you're 17 underage perhaps you're breaking the law i don't know what country aren't steroids illegal in america bro i thought they were illegal how is he able to get away with this um, to me it's not okay and so for me to stand up and say this is not okay i have the right to do that perhaps you say oh coach greg he will be quiet he can do whatever he wants yeah, well, if he can, I can say I don't agree with this. Elbow wraps and the biggest bounce I've ever seen, definitely not, including... Oh, a hater's going to write now. He hates him because he had bounced. He took the wraps. <laughs> definitely not natural. Like the video if you liked it. Add a comment. Remember, Defin if you're a teen... Definitely not natural because I can't do it, so he must be unnatural. Well, yeah, but in this case, he is unnatural, yes. Teacher, don't get supplements. You're too young. Wait until you're an adult. Wait until you're older. Best time to use supplements, my opinion. See, best time to use the fake supplements is when you get older. Okay, like Greg says. And you're an adult and you hit a sticking point. You're not improving at that. Yes, you're an adult hitting a sticking point. You need to improve. You got to take these supplements, man. My God. Point. Give it a try. Perhaps consider Geo2 Max, Ecti Builder, Turk Builder, pre workouts, creatine, beta alanine, all the supplements. Head over to my website, code Greg, 15% off. Subscribe, click. Wow, he's really growing. This channel really took off in the last three, four years during COVID. It's incredible. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, man. Tell what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Do you think it's worth it to take drugs just to show off you can lift a heavy weight and destroy your health in the long run? See you in the next one and cut your, cut your life uh, in half short. See you later, friends.